Pererera, Kirongai te awa, Kirongai te awa, Owe paua, Mai te, Puke karuru, Tae noa ki te mohana. The river for me is, it's, I grew up in the river, it's a food source, and it's just home, it's, it's what I love, it's one of the, things I love about this place. I'd just love to see it in its, in its natural state, how it should be. It's clean, plenty of fish. I won't necessarily be able to see the river in the state that it should be in, but at least my descendants will be able to one day. This is Matatina Marae. This is where I grew up. My uncle and another uh, group of carvers were the ones who carved this marae. It's one of two carved marae's of Te Roro. Uh, kia ora, my name is Tauho Patuawa. Um, I work within the Te Rorua Iwi organisation as, um, as a science and research manager. My background first and foremost is in um, marine biology. Um, I have a Masters of Applied Science um, degree in aquaculture. So I'm connected uh, through through my father's side to Matatina Marae here in Waipo Forest. The, the, the importance of the life of the river in terms of sustaining ourselves um, is, I guess, the, the tangible part of the process which connects the physical to the spiritual. You need to have a healthy system in order to access the kai and eat the kai to have a healthy, healthy body. Well, last I've heard around Christmas time, they, they closed it for swimming because of the high E. coli levels. The E. coli is probably coming from up on the farms. 5k is up the river from here and it's affecting the whole river. There's always been natural erosion. You can see there, that that's one of the ones we're looking at, is um, how much of this erosion is stuff that's been caused by our, our activities, which is contributing to the sediment in the river. So that's one that we're looking at there. But when you look at that, you can see it's old riverbed as that next layer down. Anyway, like we're on a floodplain here, which must have meandered. But we're trying to understand that better with this the NIWA study going on. We're just trying to get as many monitoring tools as available as useful to help us work out what's going on. found is that um, people lived, the early, the early um, gardening was on the hill slope, so that was all cleared and that caused massive erosion. And in Waipo those, all those garden systems are visible because they're all made of rock. And because the place has never been um, intensively farmed or had any development other than pine forest, you can see the, the sort of micro terracing that occurs in, um, in earth gardening as well. But, we're just trying to save the places and the best and to protect them for the future and the best way to do that is to um, put them back into light forest. This is all part of the catchment, the Waipo River's down here where the line of Kōtara trees are. But I've been through this whole block and cut down all the regen pines like, multiple times, but as you can see they're still popping up. We've got pine trees, brush wattle, gorse, acacias, yeah, there'll be patches of ginger through there, blackberries, a bit of everything really. <laughs> I work for the environs team. Um, I help Te Tōwhenu out with nursery. Kauri, gives the kauri, so um, hopefully, yeah, they'll go back on the whenua too. So now we've got this left and put more, we'll have to put more seed down and get it re, get it all going again. But it's the seed now, we're waiting for certain seeds, so they're there, it's just we've got to wait till they drop the seeds drop and then yeah we get them and regrow them <laughs>
we're at the Waipo River Ford today, um, and whilst it was constructed out of necessity to keep vehicles off uh, the riverbed itself, what it's done is created um, a barrier for, for fish. Um, but by introducing the fish, pa fish passages, um, yeah, we've, we're now seeing um, Inanga being able to swim up past the Ford, so um, yeah, it's working, it's cool. Tata atiki matutina te whenua me hoki ko te maraera Here in the, when we were still kids living up here, maybe to the age of 10, we used to come camping down here for the complete, for the whole school holidays, six weeks, just live in a tent and live, out, live off the river pretty much and off the sea. You know, we, we, we're working within a landscape where we know that, you know, particularly for Waipo, we know that the river system is, is not unconnected to the whenua, to the forest as well. Uh, from the little, from the, from the catchment areas down to the little streams which feed into the larger tributaries which end up, you know, into the, the, the main uh, Waipo River and then gets released out at the co coast which we've seen today. Parawita. Katia Nui, Kite Taramore.